that's it. Thank you. Very chaotic. So you know what I did? I ran back to sleep. And it's so freaking big and heavy. Y'all like your coffee strong? I feel like coffee don't make sense when you're strong. Now, as a young adult, I can't be doing that. say good morning you know I would say good morning but guess guess what it's not morning anymore it's literally 12 41 and I'm just getting back on the camera let me tell y'all I came in from walking bean and hair got very 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 chaotic so you know what I did I went back to sleep and I woke up like after 11 came back over here chill for a bit I did do my devotions before I went back to sleep so I didn't have to do them when I got back up and here I am here I am about to go make me some coffee and something to eat. And I love shopping on groceries. I don't have egg, that's like red flag number one, but I'm gonna make me some, um, a waffle with this leftover bat I had from yesterday and maybe some, some type of meat. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> y'all can see when I finish, so let's do this. All right, y'all, I'm gonna kind of speed through this. Not really speed, but quick, quick cuts. Because y'all already seen me do this a million times. So let me just get the stuff first that I finna eat, which is going to be. Why can't I find it? What did I say I was gonna eat? Good heck. Oh, yeah. Y'all don't mind my expressions. That's the island, like the illusor island coming out of me. Um, I ate, I said I was gonna eat something else. God, my brain foggy. What did I say I was gonna eat? Ah, uh, the waffle. I need that too. Gosh. All right. So this new this this coffee um, place or let me see if I can find it. They literally just followed me last night on Instagram. And y'all pull up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Like the more I see, you know, people start to follow me, I'll start to post. <laughs> and I know it really shouldn't be that way, but 
I need to stop posting more. But anyways, that's besides the point. But y'all, still, hit me up on Instagram. I'm going to put my credentials. Because I've been, like, I noticed I don't even be putting my TikTok and Instagram um, follows in the freaking videos. I just be falling off, man. But, um, so this place called Coffee More. Coffee and More. So... They, I went on their website last night and they seem, they are stationed here in Canada and they seem to sell like, okay, this is what they have on their thing, their profile. So, this, so they said that they are a shopping service, free resource and affordable shopping for coffee lovers, online shop, blog, training, videos, recipes, tips, and more. Okay, who you know? So I gone on their website last night and this is pretty much i don't know y'all can see what the website look like so hold on i think it's so yeah so they sell like coffee making instruments <laughs> grinders they also sell coffee like they also sell coffee like different from different brands and i am all for it so i said i pretty much said that i'm going to order my next bag of ground coffee from them you know because i was like because they they followed me last night and i was like this is a sign or something y'all know i i i low on coffee or something so i'm gonna hit hit up their website they look like they're stationed in ottawa um so i'm gonna just see if i could order a new brand not starbucks this time and we'll go from there since i have this french this french press listen i be trying all kind of coffee okay all kinds of coffee but time ain't up yet. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I'll get back to you when this finished brewing. Okay, y'all. So I am back. Let me get my mug. Y'all, y'all know I gotta go mug shopping. It's time. So yeah, we gotta go get uh, holiday mugs. Yeah. This is kind of my every other day mug. I've been using my orange mug like the whole of October. Anyways, let's filter this. <laughs> I went pretty fast there. And we pour this. Oh, help me. I always forget and fudge. That's glass ball here. There we go. Always forgetting. But let me tell you, all this coffee have hints of cocoa in it. Like, ooh, little bits of chocolate. Ooh, well, you know. And the cream I'm using for my new people, because if y'all watch my video, the one before this, not the one before this, but the the one before the last video i breaking it all down and i teaching y'all how to use this french press and i showing you all all the stuff that i'm using and i'm definitely going to get some more stuff but i'm using starbucks cinnamon dolce latte cream oil. and i don't know why i feel like all gone. My goodness. Y'all like your coffee strong? I feel like coffee don't make sense for being strong. It's defeating a purpose. Yeah, and I know I just put a lot of cream on. But this joint still is be strong. I have a little bit left, y'all. I guess. Next time, I'm gonna use milk. Oh, cream, not no, cream. Half and half cream. All right. Oh, yeah, 
as back. I'm gonna fall, so I gotta get some water. I don't know if this happens to y'all, right? But like when I eat breakfast or any kind of food, I have to, like, no matter what the drink is, I have to have water with it. Anyhow, so procrastination. How many of y'all guilty of procrastinating? I'll wait. I know a lot of y'all guilty of procrastination because bro, procrastination at one point was my middle name. All throughout school, all I did was procrastinate. Now, as a young adult, I can't be doing that. I can't, like, I'll wake up, right? I know I have certain stuff to do. I know I have deadlines for myself, but yeah, I wait till the last minute and still, and so I end up being late on posting or I end up being late on doing something for someone. But I forget, I'm getting a lot better. That's why I'm trying to do better now with posting because I'm like, you gotta do better. You really have to do better. It ain't fair to the people who actually watch your videos. And to me, procrastination is just a form of being lazy. <laughs> but yeah, now, like I said, I've gotten a lot better with procrastination. I don't leave things for last minute. I end up working on things, like if I know it's a long process, or there's a lot I want to add to a video, like right after I feel, finish filming the video, I'd start editing. That never used to happen, but. <laughs> and I also could be a perfectionist in a way. Like if I plan on a video, my guy, that video has to go the exact way I planned it out in the book. Yeah. Between perfectionism and procrastination, I has to be all over the place. But y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all procrastinate? I, I just feel it's just easy to do. So we do it. But then when it comes to time, bro, if you ain't used to working under pressure, you mess. But to be honest, y'all procrastination is a mind thing. Cause it's something you could stop very easily. You can very much stop procrastinating and just do your work on time. Set deadlines for yourself so you could stay on task. Let me see what else. As soon as you get that task, start working on it immediately. I think it's best to start working on something while it's fresh. You be more motivated, you know, to want to do whatever it is that you have to do. You got to be organized as well. Like you really have to be organized. Like write stuff down or put stuff in your phone, in your notes. Or there's a lot of organizational apps out there that allow, that help you to get about your day. I know I have one. So it has to be organized, set deadlines, and do things while it's fresh, if you're able to. So yeah, that's my top three things that I think you should do if you want to beat that procrastination. Y'all, I literally was sitting here chilling on my computer and I be having so many scam calls on my number to the point where I don't pick up my phone. But one mind tell me, one mind tell me, answer the call, I answer the call, and most of the scam calls is be people talking about, oh, I have a package, this place and the next place, and I know I ain't damn near order nothing. So this time, the guy says from Amazon, I have a package for Valtteri Johnson. This me, what? I know I was on Amazon last night, but sis did not order anything. Um, so I asked him, where you at now? So he said, he's at my address. So I'm like, hmm. So I go into the door, and lo and behold, dude's standing there with the freaking package. So he asked me questions, my postal code and all of that. So he's like, so I was like, but I didn't order anything. So he's like, well, maybe it's a surprise or a gift from someone. So I don't know what this is. We're gonna find out together. So let's open. And it's so freaking big and heavy. Yeah. 
Yo, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Why well, feel like this? My best friend doing. Why well, I feel like this my best friend doing? Because we literally was just talking about these stuff. Okay, before I show y'all what's in this box, let me tell y'all, right? And I'm probably gonna move y'all over there so y'all can, so I can show y'all up close. We just was having this conversation, I wanna say yesterday or last night or day before yesterday. And I asked her about, um, well, like, give me some new salad dressings and stuff to try because I tied a ranch and I tied a Caesar dressing and she's a big cook y'all big cook big baker and she was telling me to try balsamic vinegar and a raspberry vinaigrette that's what i see in here and then she was supposed to come over this month but she's not able to because of other stuff and uh, which i totally understand she was gonna come for her birthday but she can't no more and I told her when she comes, or I asked her when she comes to bring me some seasonings from home. And let me tell you what this girl, I don't know if it's her, but I just feel because that's the only person I've been talking to about these things. Let me set y'all up over there. All right, y'all, let's review what's in this box, who I highly feel was sent by my best friend. All right, so first up, we have these spaghetti noodles. Um, yeah, spaghetti. I've never had this brand, but child, it looks good. <laughs> but this sent two of, two of these spaghetti. And then this next pasta scene brand, La, La Molisana. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but this falsili pasta, so like the, the little spiral ones. Boom. And then another one. And then there's another pasta. Y'all, I love pasta. <laughs> elbow, the mini, mini elbow pasta. So, I'm trying to get this in focus for y'all. Yeah. And she got me some taco kits. So the dinner kits, this is one, two. Oh gosh, I love, see why she, well, see why she's my best friend? <laughs> and then, this is why I say you just have the beer. So these two dressings, salad dressings, I literally asked, I think it was, Bean. It was night before last when I asked her um, about like salad dressing. She thinks she think I should try, and she's like try balsamic and this raspberry vinaigrette. So let me show you all what she sent me: balsamic and raspberry vinaigrette. <sighs> Man. And now, this girl went crazy with the seasoning. So first up, we have King's for lemon pepper. Oh yeah, the lemon pepper seasoning. Bean. King's for garlic and herb. Yeah. All right then. Clubhouse garlic powder. Listen to me, y'all. In the food store, this brand, especially right here, is extremely expensive. So like six, seven dollars a bottle. Badia complete seasoning. I had the seasoning so long, but yeah. Mm. 
Kingsford Original All Purpose Seasoning. Sorry, y'all. Bomb. <laughs> I tell you what. Some old bay. I literally was in the store yesterday or day before yesterday. One day this week. And I was like, I need to get me some old bay. God is good. You hear me? God is good. Like blessings all around. And this one must be is glass. That's the why in this bubble wrap. This is the last one, y'all. Yeah, this one is glass. Yeah. So this one is McCormick Gourmet Dehydrated Onion Flickin' Powder King. Y'all uh, being doing the most. But yeah, this is onion powder. Special thank you to Flickin' Colleen. <laughs> For those who are new here, yes, Colleen is my best friend from back home in the Bahamas. Y'all get y'all a best friend like Colleen. She all the way in the Bahamas and she sending surprise gift on Amazon all the way to me up here in Canada. My guy. Energy. Well, I guess I'm gonna put these up. Um, she gave me something extra to do today, which I love. Uh, we have this, let me show y'all. Y'all see here, we have this seasoning um, area, but like, I doubt. I gotta try to fit them in the cupboard. Hmm. So like, it's not really much space up there, but I gotta reorganize. I won't do that in this video. That'll be another video where I reorganize in this cupboard and stuff like that and seasonings and what's not. So I'm just so happy. Like who wouldn't be happy to get a surprise box, from a gift box, whatever from Amazon. Hmm. I'm gonna call her right now. Hold on. Let's see if she answers, y'all. Because it's 2 35. Yeah, we call her now. We call her now. Hello? Listen to me. Is it you? <laughs> what happened to me? Did you send me an Amazon package? <laughs> I did, I did. So, yes, y'all, it was her. I just I just knew it because ain't nobody else I talk to about these things. See what I'm saying? But yeah, these are the kind of stuff she'd always do though. When I was living back home and on a different island and all, she do she do the same thing. So yeah. I'll do another video with me organizing, reorganizing this area and the covered area. So y'all look out for that, but Again, I'll see y'all when I bought the puree, this mini pumpkin, all right? I just had to come on and show all the surprise package I got. And she said this wasn't even supposed to get here until Monday, so shout out to Amazon, Canada, boom. And it wasn't even Prime, boom. See y'all later. Y'all, what a day has been. Um, so we're gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow because i have some stuff to do tomorrow um we didn't do much today so i figured you know to make it more interesting i carry it on into tomorrow since i actually have errands to run tomorrow um so i already showered and everything for the day i mean for the night so like i literally just come out the shower um i got some food i did go out but that was to just go for a ride and run errands with um, Kelly, um, coming home, we got something to eat. We stopped by this Jamaican place. Um, it was our first time there, and I got curry goat with white rice and plantain. Let me let y'all see. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And then, y'all, they said, oh, it comes with it comes with macaroni me waiting on a big slab of macaroni for those from the caribbean who know you know a big slab of macaroni <sighs> macaroni salad 
it's okay though i feel like it's seasoned so i'm gonna do the first bite of everything here oh and i gotta buy them out for a drink i'm gonna give you all my honest opinion oh and the place name is wanda's caribbean kitchen it's located in hamilton not sure if they located anywhere else but yeah it's located 1610 barton street east hamilton ontario wanda's caribbean kitchen there we go all right Okay, let's taste this rice now. Oh yeah. This is the, oops, the goat, curry goat with the rice. Mmm, I chill is good. Sorry about that, y'all. I dropped a grain of rice. But it's spicy, but not too spicy. Just like curry, Jamaican curry. Um, let's taste the plantain. Y'all, my favorite plantain. sweet and you can tell these these aren't the plantain in the bag this is like the plantain that you would cut like real plantain not that i mind the plantain in the bag but these just maybe the plantain in the bag who knows <laughs> but it tastes good so y'all yeah, but surely if you're in the hamilton area check out wonders caribbean kitchen I gotta, I gotta try more dishes because they have, of course, oxtail, they have jerk chicken, they have Jamaican patty. We had a Jamaican patty as well. Bomb. We had a mild beef patty. Bomb. This is giving what it's supposed to give. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna see y'all in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever I choose to start. Um, but yeah, good night and see y'all tomorrow. Y'all, vitamin is always bussing. Y'all need to try it. Vitamin always bussing. Anyway, see y'all tomorrow. Hello, 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 y'all. It's the next day. It's, it's, it's what time? 6.07? Yeah. I told y'all I was going to come back to y'all today, but guess what? I already did what I had to do today, but that's in another vlog. I figured I didn't want to make this vlog forever and a day, and I might as well split it up. So this is me closing out the vlog respectfully, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.